Jared Goff, for the second time in the past three weeks, had three passing touchdowns. This week, not last week, it was the the week prior, right? Yeah, week 13 versus the Vikings. He also had three passing touchdowns. Um, So my question for you guys, is Jared Goff, right now it seems like there's some sort of role going on. The Lions are playing better than they have earlier in the season. Some of the young wide receivers are starting to step up. Um, Does this elevate Jared Goff to a startable fantasy quarterback, or are you guys uh, hands off with Jared Goff still? Josh, we'll start with you. This was his second best game of this of the season. He had a little over twenty points in the scoring format I'm looking at. No, like he doesn't have any <laughs> upside whatsoever. And in your fantasy playoffs, Simon, you know, you know more than most. You're you're looking for that upside a little bit more, right? Because you're yep. probably playing a pretty good person, especially going into next week. So Jared Goff, while maybe he offers you a little bit of a floor, but I'm looking at his schedule. He's had multiple. Uh, four or five games under 10 fantasy points. You can't have that from your quarterback in the fantasy playoffs. I have no yeah, interest. I, I'm with you, Josh. Um, uh, the thing I was going to bring up is he scored three touchdowns, three touchdowns, yeah. and he only had 20 fantasy points in FanDuel scoring. Yeah. Um, you, you are needing him to have a three plus touchdown game for him to even be a good quarterback for you. I, I don't have any desire to start him. JL or Jay, do either of you guys disagree? Are you upgrading? Uh, Jared Goff at all. Does Albert's comment here that the Lions are playing the Falcons change change your opinion at all? This was a I was going to bring up this up is that he's got the Falcons this week, which is a somewhat beatable secondary, uh, probably one of the one of the most beatable secondaries in the NFL. So if you need to, sure, you could throw him in. Upside is absolutely limited. It's still Jared Goff, but the matchup is very very good. Hey, what about you? Yeah, I think it. In the most desperate situations in super flex leagues, uh, with that good of a matchup, I think he's a he's a floor play. He's definitely not the upside play, but you know he could very easily score you close to twenty points against you know a uh, pretty bad Falcons defense. So I think he went from unusable to emergency start status. <laughs> 